Good morning. It's Phoebe from Phoebe Fazio, and it's day seven of the Magical Portal Playtime series that I'm doing. Anyway, uh, this video did not get recorded with any sound, so I'm practicing doing voiceovers. Here we go. Here I'm explaining to you the difference between restorative yoga and yin yoga. There you go. Um, <laughs> so talking with my hands here, I'm saying something to the effect that uh, restorative yoga is poses, laying down poses, they're all comfy and cozy, and we stay there for a long time. It's very relaxed. Whereas yin yoga is also basically laying down poses uh, we don't hold them as long, and we don't get all comfy cozy because we're going to move in three to five minutes. So holding the poses for less time, and um, it, it can be a little bit uncomfortable. Sometimes we, um, our mind gets crazy and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to go ahead, and I'm going to show you two yin poses that I enjoy doing. You could do them in bed or you can get out a yoga mat. Um, yeah, find the way that's most enjoyable for you. I find that some mornings this is exactly what I need. So this is, this is a simple one. You could even do this during the day at any time. Uh, bathroom stall, maybe you don't wanna put your hands on the floor, but anyway, you can find a place to do this. So it's in a squatting position, um, and all you're doing is you have your hand, your fingers gently resting on the ground, and the head hangs. That's the most important piece, to let go of the weight of your head and allow the connective tissue from the, fore, the forehead, where the third eye is, all the way back over your back and to the heels. There is a the connective tissue is in major pieces, and that's one of them, the back, uh, the back body. And so this releases that neck area, and I'm showing you that area of the back body all the way down to the heel. And we'll stay in this pose for about I, we don't stay here for a full three minutes for this video, but when you're doing it, the value, the longer you can stay in it, the higher the value. And so here we are going to come out of this slowly, lifting the head, and then we're going to bring our body forward, always moving slowly in the in practice. It's not about hurrying from one place to the other. So finding a comfortable place on your belly, and you're going to take one leg out to one side at a 90 degree angle, and you'll rest your head. You can rest your head on the back of your hands. Um, I'm talking, so I'm not resting my head there, but I will. Um, it's You want to find the place that's comfortable, either to the side or your forehead. You're finding a comfortable place for your head as you allow the body to sink in to this pose. And you breathe. And we tune in to those places in our body that are still holding on. And that's the, that's the approach to this practice. And it's very meditative. Breathe into the areas that you can feel are holding on a little bit. See if they can let go. There isn't a lot that has to hold you in this pose because we're supported by the earth. So now we move into the other side, extending that leg and bending the other leg. 
Again, finding a comfortable place for the head. And just noticing this side. Each side is a little bit different. Breathing into this pose. And stay here as long as you wish. And I'll come forward and remind you that during this portal, it's a time for going inward, calming the self, tuning in to what is it our true self wants. And even though it's crazy busy out in the holidays, outside and all the things that we feel like we have to do, maybe, maybe this is a time to go inward and ask, what is, what is it that I really need to do? Maybe I choose, I don't have to give that many gifts, or I don't have to go buy my gifts. Maybe I buy them online, or maybe I'm making gifts. Or maybe this year, a simple idea came to you, and that's what you're going to do. So tuning in, allowing spirit to guide you, well, your guides, your angels, so that you can have peace in your life talk about peace on earth at this time of the season. When we embody peace, then we start to see peace. Then we know peace. We see it all around us. Take that in. Allow yourself to be peaceful. Namaste. Thank you so much for being here. And don't forget to find playtime. All this spiritual practice can also be fun. It's been a joy doing these videos for you. I hope you enjoy this voiceover. That was fun to do. Um, <laughs> we'll be back tomorrow with another video. Take good care of yourself. Sending you lots of love and play in this magical portal playtime. And I'm still talking with my hands. Here we go. <laughs> it's fun to watch yourself on video. I wonder what you're saying. <laughs> Rambling on. Important stuff that didn't get video, didn't get recorded. It's okay. It's all good. Don't forget to subscribe. Press the bell so they get notified of the next video. Yeah. You know what to do. <laughs> Love you. I have no idea what I'm saying there. Oh, I will link below the full practice. Yeah, I did a full yin practice for you. Um, I'll have that ready for you. Namaste. See you tomorrow. Bye.